Hello guys, I'm Void, and welcome back to the part 5 of my Alight Motion Beginner Tutorial Series. In this video, I'll be explaining about how you can make smooth turbulent warp effect. I'm not going to explain like previous video, but will only teach you how you can create a smooth turbulent warp effect. So, anyway, do you want to make like this? If you like the turbulent warp, then watch the full video. Alright, let's start the tutorial. After finishing your transition, add tiles in your clip. Then set the tiles crop strength at 1.010. Then add shape and fill the composition area. After adding the tiles in shape, add copy background effect. Then add turbulent displace. And turn on that fix tiles bug option if you have. It will fix your bug in warp. Then scroll down a little bit and choose XY whenever you want to do warp effect. And turn on green space and set octaves at 9 and set seed's strength whatever you want. And using scale, you can zoom in and out the warp, so, set scale's strength however you want. Now, just watch and see how I make smooth turbulent warp effect. After doing first turbulent, drag the shape layer 2 or 3 frame ahead of your clips like this. Then open speed control and do this. Now, duplicate the turbulent displace two times and change their settings like this, until you think it's good. Now, open shape effect panel and disable all the turbulent displace, so that your alight motion doesn't lag while doing wave warp. Now, follow my steps if you want to make turbulent warp just like me. After doing the first wave warp, duplicate the wave warp and change that wave warp spacing strength as you like. Now, turn on the all turbulent displace visible option and cut this 2 or 3 frame of turbulent warp shape. The turbulent warp is done, and remember one thing. Always add the turbulent warp after editing everything, such as transitions and other effects. If you add the turbulent warp first, your alight motion will lag like. I don't know like what, but it will definitely lag. So always remember to add the turbulent warp after doing everything and add it before exporting. And now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.